Hi everyone. So in this video, I want to bring forth uh, certain points about how to talk to a woman respectfully in the context of marriage, in the concept of either arranging a marriage through family network or arranging a marriage for yourself, proposing to a woman, uh, etc. So given that this is the context of India where there's still not full socializing between genders in schools and colleges, it can be quite an awkward thing to try to get to know a woman or make an emotional connect with a woman. And men can sometimes get it right, but oftentimes they get it very wrong. Uh, one of the basic errors is to, it's either, okay, so for example, I've had some men uh, who are married but who may be interested in me or divorced and interested in me, etc, etc. They come and say something like, oh, my wife hasn't been with me for six years physically and uh, I feel very upset about it, you know. So this is one, the first great no-no. You don't need to tell a woman that you don't know much about your uh, intimacy about the about your sex life you don't need to share it with a woman never is she going to be comfortable with it if you tell her that you haven't been with um, another woman for a long time she's not going to get pity that you expect and and say yes so sad i appreciate your pain let me relieve your distress that's not going to happen especially not in india so you can let that be okay no don't uh, overshare about um, don't overshare about your intimate life. This is one. Um, the second great no-no would be to negotiate with a woman, um, like like it's a business deal, you know, uh, to tell her, look, this is my salary. What is your salary? This is my education. What is your education? All of this. Uh, this is often done in the context of arranging marriages because uh, basically, you know, there's certain criteria. What is your caste? What is your educational background? What is the salary you earn? And that's another same thing you want to know about a woman, right? So, but these are not done face to face. Somehow you need to figure out a way to understand their profile before and uh, come and uh, and and just you know not really look at the person as a, as a resume it's not a job interview you know to meet meet someone you know it's not a job interview so uh, so that has to be handled sort of in the background it's okay to figure out you know what is their background etc and see if you have a point of interest and if genuinely you think that some of the criteria that you want a filter for your relationship that's also okay but it's not something that you address on a face-to-face -face basis it does not necessarily build any trust and uh, uh, yeah so this is the second point of uh, point of uh, care that you can give when you're talking to a woman uh, I mean it's it's really okay to give her some nice compliments on how she looks and how she dresses etc so it's okay to tell a woman look um, uh, you're looking very nice today you're pretty uh, it, it is calming to see you all of these is okay it's okay. You can go ahead and compliment somebody that you don't know at all, especially if it is a woman. It's quite acceptable to women. Um, and, and in the same way, you don't tell her, uh, you know, she's fat, her hair is not long enough, you know, these things you don't. You don't, there's no sort of uh, broach, broach her um, uh, physic, I mean, with, with questions on her physicality. This is a third big no-no. Um, now, what, what, what else are the other places where men can get it wrong? So, I did the oversharing part, I did the part about, uh, you know, putting them into these filters, discussing the filters directly that you may have in meeting a partner. Third, about how do you uh, talk about, uh, how do you give physic compliments about the physicality of the person? That all of the women. So this also I talked about. Um, yeah. 
and the fourth thing is to say basically to a woman look i'm not very sure i'm not very sure that i'm interested in you but i'd like to get to know you more and we will see you know um this again especially this may be okay in western countries but in the indian context um again i I'm, i'm not sure that this really builds trust i've had some men tell me that look um i'm not very sure it's going to work out between us so i don't want you to raise expectations but i want to get to know you you know so i i i that was a put off for me because i don't really have the time for people who are not re- genuinely interested in me i don't see why i should do that um so again in the indian context where socialization is limited um i think it's best to leave out the fact that you're not so interested etc if you're not so interested uh just uh, move on find somebody you're actually interested in and put in your energy and effort there don't go to a woman with sort of half hearted interest and tell her look i'm not fully in it but maybe you know something like this yeah i think basically once if you want to approach a woman these these things and the fifth fifth point which is really really important is don't get your mother to call up and talk to the woman don't get your uncle to call up and talk to the woman if you're doing an arranged marriage get your parents or your family to talk to the relatives of the woman don't get your family to start to uh, try to be friendly with the woman get her to be committed to you etc etc you know this just makes it more scary for the woman then makes it comfortable it's it's okay to have a social context to your relationship because arranged marriages are often you know through family and networks but that also has to be approached in the traditional fashion you know you, if it's your if it's through family then family has to get to know family and uh, get a sense of comfort with family and then gently introduce the woman in uh you don't call up the woman and say look i mean my son is there and are you interested in marrying him you know you don't need the mother to propose marriage you can do it yourself yes so uh i wish you all the best and uh uh i i still like the indian culture where men are still interested in commitment and taking responsibility and women are uh open to receiving men uh who are genuine into their lives so it's still something that we want to preserve and keep and here are the five points that you want to avoid to make any mistakes in this situation